in, t in terms of themes, I, I would say um, high level uh, or high scale investment is certainly something yeah, you have to pay attention to. So I think it was Cloud9 that got 50 mil. I think Team Liquid's done something similar. 100 Thieves got 35 mil. Um, late last year, it got investment from Drake and Scooter Braun as well. Um, we're just seeing it seems to be every couple of weeks now you get a big story about um, a series A, B or C funding that comes in and it, and it just blows the other, other numbers out of the water, you know. And, and it, not only that, but it's the caliber of companies uh, and VC firms and such that are getting involved as well. It's, it's hard to ignore that for me, especially kind of covering the industry most days, you know. In, in terms of other things, I, I guess like the, the, the significance of of franchise leagues and how they're playing into things. Even though Riot Games doesn't like to call, but and it's not officially franchising for their leagues anyway with the LEC and LCS, they're more long-term partnerships. So you're not geolocated. Um, you don't have to create a new brand or anything. You're just you're stuck in that league. You're not getting relegated, so you can get, get those sponsors in. So I think we've kind of seen um, the effects of that. So uh, with Coca-Cola coming in, Bud Light and uh, uh, sponsoring Overwatch League, everything like that. And then LEC secured like Warner Music, Shell, Kia. I, I can't even begin to list them all, but like the, the amount of sponsors they're able to bring in because you know the product, you know the product's going to stay the same in terms of the people that are a part of it, but it, it's only going to get better now. And we've seen that with the rebrand of LEC, which used to be EU, EU LCS. It's, it's, it's in got gone from strength to strength in terms of viewership fan perception everyone seems to enjoy it more so i'm i'm i've been paying close attention to, to franchising really and obviously that's a topic that everyone's talking about though nobody knows how things are going to turn out yet in the context of esports